Terry. I am Terry. Today I'm going to show you a delicious, nutritious way to make a root vegetable mac and cheese. <laughs> now, mac and cheese, just by its name, is not vegan, but this one will tickle your taste buds just the same way. We're actually going to use root vegetables in our macaroni and part of the root vegetables are going to make up our sauce. Let's get started. First part of doing our root vegetable mac and cheese is, of course, the root vegetables. I've got Yukon, gold potatoes, parsnips, carrots, and sweet potatoes. It doesn't really matter what kind of vegetables you use. You can use celery, you can use rutabaga, you can use beets. But know that some of these vegetables are going to go into the sauce. So if you use beets, there's a chance that your macaroni and cheese could go red. I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of red mac and cheese. So keep that in mind. What we're going to do is just cut these up, dice them as you see here. We're going to put these in a 425 degree oven for an hour. Then we'll make our macaroni just as you would make any other macaroni just by the elbow macaroni pasta. But the secret to this, all this, is going to be in the sauce. So I will show you that. Our vegetables have roasted for an hour. And now I'm going to make the sauce. We're going to take two cups of those vegetables just roasted. I'll put those in our blender. Two cups of vegetable broth. A half cup of nutritional yeast. This is what's going to help it taste cheesy. A tablespoon of lemon juice. A teaspoon of miso. A teaspoon of whole grain mustard. And a half teaspoon of onion powder. Half teaspoon of garlic powder. Half teaspoon of paprika. And a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Now we're just going to blend that until it's smooth. And there's our sauce. So now we're just going to, as soon as the macaroni is cooked, we will put the remainder of the root vegetables in with the macaroni and then pour the sauce on top of it. And then we'll have dinner. All right, my macaroni is cooked and drained. I buy the bean-based pasta because you get a little bit new extra protein and fiber in your pasta that way and fewer carbs so now that my pasta is done i'm gonna put the rest of the root vegetables in there and then just pour your sauce on and just mix it up and your sauce is evenly di distributed you're ready to serve the serves for However, I've noticed that it's kind of filling because of all the vegetables, so you might be able to get five or six servings out of it. It's just kind of depends on your appetite and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I pray you have a good day. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks again, and may you know the love of Jesus Christ.